Hello, this is John from One Hour Academy. We are now looking at lesson seven of my HTML tutorial, but this is actually part two of cascading style sheets. So if you're looking at this, hopefully you've done part one. If not, I encourage you to go back and do part one so that you can get caught up to the stage I'm at now. So we we left you off working on the style sheet and you've seen the benefits of how you can put all of the style rules in one file and then have all the other web pages point to this and follow these rules so they all look the same. And then any changes you make here will automatically cascade to those pages when you want to change the style in the future. So we've looked at changing the body so far and the link color, both when, when it's a link and when you mouse over it. So the other tags I want to work on are the heading tags for starters. So there's the H1 tag. I can just press enter here the h3 tag and the h5 tag. Okay, Now with all three of these there's more than one thing I want to change. Let me show you how that works. So the first thing I want to do is change the font of, of these tags. So you, the way you do that is you go font family and again um, Aptana, there we go, Aptana does a great job at giving us uh, suggested uh, tags for for the uh, style sheet. So font family, I'm going to go with Callisto MT, which is a font installed on most machines. Okay, but I'm not done with this tag yet. I also want to change a few other things. So here's how you separate them. Semicolon. Okay, and then we're going to do font size. And I'm going to set it to 30 px. Um, the font color, which is just color. Okay, another one of these weird codes. 2Ds and 4 zeros, and text align, which is right there, and I want to go with center, which is right there. And that's it for that. Okay, so the next one is going to be similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this with my mouse. So I just highlighted it right there, and I'm going to go Control C, and I'm going to come out here and go Control V to paste it. With the heading 3, I'm going to change the font size to be 20. Okay, Different color, so I'm going to replace the two Ds with two As. I don't want to do a text align, so I'm going to just cut it off right there and replace all of that with a brace. Okay, um, H5 will be similar to the H1. So I'm going to just copy this one more time. Control C and Control V. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, but H5 is a really tiny heading size, and it's meant to be tiny, so we're going to set it to 10. Okay, we'll keep the same color as the H3, which is the AA, which it, actually it pops up there. You can see it's kind of a red color. Um, text align for this last one is going to be to the right. Okay, I'm not done yet, though. I still want to define a couple more things. I wanted to define the paragraph tag. Okay, so this one is going to be um, a Georgia font. So again, if we start typing font family, it comes up like that. And I'm going to just put Georgia. You've got to make sure you spell these fonts right or it won't work properly. Uh, font size, which comes up right there. Um, 16 pixels. We're going to do this other one too called line height. So if you come up, and this gives you a drop down of all the different possibilities. And you can spend a whole bunch of time in here you know, learning all the different options. I'm just sort of giving you some of the ones that are more commonly used here. But, uh, you know, feel free to have fun on your own as well. That's how you learn a lot of things that go beyond uh, lessons and books. Okay, so the other, I want to also alter the UL, which is unordered list, which is the bullet points that we've used on uh, one of the pages. Okay, and again, it's similar to paragraphs, so rather than type it all out, I'm going to highlight, copy, and paste it. Okay, so what I'm going to change with the UL tag is the size. I'm going to make it 12 pixels. And the line height, we're going to scrunch it in a bit. Like this is the distance from one line to the next. So 16 pixels, we'll, we'll scrunch it in and make the lines closer together, the bullet points. Okay. OL, which is another list we used, which is an ordered list, which is a numbered list. We're going to keep the same rules as we had for the unordered list. So I'm going to highlight that, copy it, paste it down here, and leave everything as is. All right. We're almost done. We're getting there. TD and TH are the last two tags I want to do. TH, if you recall, is a table heading tag. And I want to change the background color and the foreground color. So for the background, 
I'm going to type background first of all, and there it is. And I'm going to use this um, two A's and four zeros, which you can see right there. I could have actually just selected that, I think. Okay, so that's sort of a red color. Now color is the foreground color or the font color, so we can change that as well. And I'm going to change that to uh, six F's which is basically white. So, so the headings of the table are going to have a red background with white lettering. And you'll see this when we, after we save this, we're going to go back and look at our two pages and they'll automatically update to follow the rest of these rules. All right, we're almost there. One more to go. For the TD, which is the table data, so these are all the little pieces of information that are inside cells of the table. We're going to do a font family. Just highlight that and press enter. Save on the typing. Georgia and font size, which is right there, of 16px. Okay, so that controls the size of the font. And yeah, that's it. That's our entire style sheet. So we covered a lot of different tags here. So anytime these tags get used in either of these two pages, these are the rules that they're going to follow. Okay, but see this little star here? That means I have to save this still. It needs to be updated. So if I preview these pages now, these rules aren't going to kick in yet because i got to save the style sheet one more time. So here we go. File, save, and drum roll, please. This is what my page looks like now with all those styles applied. Okay, so you can see a lot of differences now. Notice the, uh, the change in the font size going to the unordered list here. It's a bit smaller, different font, and the ordered list as well. So And the, and the items are closer together. The line height is affected here. Okay, so there's the title up here, and there's a heading tag down there. On the other page, you can see where the TH and the TD tags got modified. So we've got like a white on red uh, table heading tags. Um, notice my name and H5 has been aligned to the right, and the H1 tags have been aligned to the center. Okay, so this looks a lot different than it did before the style file. Okay, in fact, if you want to see what this looks like without the style, then what I would do is I would just, you know, come back here, and just for the index page, I'll just take out this line of code that hooks up to the style file, and I'll just save it again. Okay, so here's the here's the page with style, and here's the page the way it was before without style. Okay, so you can see quite a bit of difference there, and it looks a lot better when you start putting some style into it. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in again. Um, I think if I go undo, there we go, it's back in. So I'll save that again, and that's my finished product. Just refresh that one more time. So that's without style, and that's with style. Okay. So that takes us to the end of our journey, folks. I hope you stayed with me for all of these lessons, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, um, you know, I do have a small bookstore, and if there's more information that you want and you want to learn further on HTML or style sheets, there's a number of uh, books that I've hand selected there through the Amazon store that I do get an affiliate link for. Um, HTML is, you know, you could really spend obviously a lot more than an hour. There's only so much that you can cover in one hour, but I think we've covered enough that you could get going on basic website design. But if you find this stuff really interesting, then I'd encourage you to definitely uh, look into getting a book for yourself. You know, either either through my site or even just on your own or look for some information on the internet. Um, hopefully in the future I'll have a few more uh, courses like this one on HTML, but this one will get you started at least. And also, if, if there's anybody else that you know of that is looking for, you know, a free course on HTML, please, uh, I'd, you know, I'd ask you to pass on this course to them as well, and hopefully they'll get something out of it and enjoy it as well. So this is John from OneHourAcademy.com, and thanks for watching, and I hope to see, to see you back for some of our other courses here on our website.